stop, won't stop rocking to the rhythm cause I gotta get mine. I gotta get mine. I can't stop, won't stop rocking to the rhythm cause I gotta get mine. I gotta get mine. Can't stop, won't stop rocking to the rhythm cause I gotta get mine. I gotta get mine. I can't stop, won't stop rocking to the rhythm cause I gotta get mine. Get down with the crew, girl. Who am I? 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 Yo, this is the girl Chain Up, Underground Girl, but hip hop dot com. I got the female rap group, the newest thing popping in the 09, y'all. CGO, Crew Girl Order. What's popping, y'all? What's good? What's popping, girl? Uh, <laughs> now, introduce yourselves, mama, because we got three of them. It's, it's, it's just not the solo thing this time around. It's, you know, they hit you with the triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Lady Payne. This is Cleo Jones. Yo, and what's going on? This is Retina from North Carolina, baby. Holla back. Holla, holla. <laughs> That's what it is. Now, second, y'all on your second album. Yes, ma'am. Second album, trying to make a new movement, paving the way for females in hip hop, because this is what we doing in the '09. How did y'all get together and start? Because I see y'all all are are solo artists, right? Y'all hold your own, right. but y'all yeah. came together yeah. as a yeah. group. How, how did well, you Chuck had the idea? He had an idea of uh, you know just just getting together and being. Uh, well, Chuck got this thing about groups. He thinks that it should be more groups than than solo artists. So you know he was like, look, I want to bring y'all chicks together and we're gonna start a movement. And here we are. Yes, yeah, and we actually <laughs> was soon wanting to do the same thing anyway, getting together, you know, as a female collaboration because not enough females stick together in the game. It's always a solo thing. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to prove to females that females can get along and we can have a vibe together and be successful together. Exactly. That's it it looked like the millennium... Uh, uh, like the salt and pepper, how they used to do it back in the day and hit, and hit the stages and rip, rip up stadiums, bringing that vibe back instead of the it's all about me type thing and exactly. bring that power I'm back to the... I'm excited uh, because the game right now is so one-sided. I mean, it's, yes. just, it's ridiculous. And I just, I'm so excited. Like when I see other females coming out, and, mm -hmm. like I'm hearing about the film movement with mm -hmm. uh, Rage, and I am so excited about that. Yeah. And there's so many, I think, you know, we don't want to take away from that. There's so many female groups that's still on the underground scene that haven't been heard or seen or whatever unless you're on the Internet like that. Exactly. But it's so many out there, and it's just like it's time. The time is now. There's no females really making any noises, and it's like the only way we're going to get seen and heard is if we all come together and unite and actually, you know, just make that powerful blow to the industry. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We 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 behind you 100% because Underground Girls of Hip Hop, that's what we're all about. And when I got the release right. about you guys, I was like, man, that's dope. Checked you out. All y'all spitters, though. Y'all really can <laughs> rap, and, and that's the thing. That's yeah. what I want everybody to understand. You really rap. It's not a gimmick. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And, and that's the thing that we wanted to portray, portray to everybody. You know, it ain't always have to be dirty. It could be classy. You can have fun with it. Also have a message, you know, and there's a lot of people in it that's not in the industry that want to hear females rap, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out there that want to hear females bring it back to the game without it being so gully that, you know, their youngin' can't listen to it or their nieces and nephew can't listen to it. Women shouldn't portray themselves like that all the time. You know, they should portray themselves in a nice light because we walk in a positive way for these kids, you know. We're the foundation. We're the teachers. We're the first teachers. You exactly. know that. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, the country girl got to say, but I still like to have fun. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have fun, and sometimes the things that I choose to do, may not be right for you to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. You may not be old enough to do it. So, therefore, I mean, I think we still got to be responsible, but we still got to say, hey, we're still mm -hmm. adults, yeah. and we can that's still true. have fun. But you know I think that's what makes this group special and what makes this we, group hey, unique. So Everybody different. is coming from a different <laughs> angle. Everybody has a different message, and it's something that everyone in the world can relate to because you're going to find something in each one of us. So each one of y'all kind of represent represent the women out there in a different light. So right. exactly. give, give me each That's one of y'all like personalities. Tell tell me Lady Payne. Y'all tell me who is Lady Payne. 
know her. Lady <laughs> is a little bit rough with a rough edge, but I'm also nice and classy with a very respectable. I respect myself and I respect others. But I can be a little bit edgy if you get in that box. <laughs> so, you know, that's my, that's, and there's a lot of females out there, you know, they miss them through us. Oh, she, she's halfway decent, so she's got to be a you-know-what. That's not always true. I'm down to earth. I'm real cool, you know, but I can get gully with it coming from BK, from Brooklyn. Huh? But, you know, I've learned to be a lady, I'm very much a lady. lady. And I like to carry myself as a lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bettina, am I saying your name right? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, that's right. It's Rotina. I'm I'm the country girl. I spit country fried <laughs> venom. I mean, and I love the party. I mean, I'm just basically, oh, my solo tip, if you hear, I'm just a partier. I, I love the party, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I am who I am. And that's that. I mean, I'm Rotina. Love me. <laughs> hey, the life of the party. <laughs> <laughs> and Cleo Jones. <laughs> yeah. Who is Cleo Jones? That would be me. me. I'm, I'm the serious one. I'm probably the one that had all the political and social and, you know, trying to uplift the whole black nation type vibe. We're not going to save the world one day. <laughs> I'm going to try. Look, that's me. I'm a mother to all. <laughs> that's right. We all the same teenagers. <laughs> so all y'all come together and y'all created CGO. Uh, uh, and Cool girl, girl order. Boy. It's level to y'all, and I love that. So you have something for everybody on the album. How did y'all hook up with the legendary Chuck D and Slam Jams? How did that hold? Um, myself, um, Lady Payne, I knew him when I was a shorty. Mm -hmm. Kind of was a mentor toward me as well as uh, Akilah. We kind of grew up around him, you know, with his positive light and right. ways of, uh, you know, just guiding us in the right direction. Yeah. And I came along. Uh, I came along through Akila. We actually, I met Akila when we put together a mixtape here in North Carolina. It was the first time we did an all-female mixtape, and uh, right. she was telling me that Chuck wanted to put a group together. And she was like, you know, would you like to be in? I'm like, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> did you ask that question? <laughs> You know, I really did. I was just like, you know, you have to make sure because I did run into a lot of females that really wasn't about. Group. Being in a group. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wanted to do the solo thing. Everybody wanted to mm -hmm. be a solo artist. So it was like after going through so many females, it was like, oh, well, I'm working on my album. But yet two years later, you still don't have an album. Out. And yeah. I'm like, okay, this is a guarantee, something we can all do, and we can all come together and, and make a movement. But mm -hmm. it had to be right. I, I keep saying that. The moment had to be right. Everybody had to be in their place at the right time. And I was I was totally into it because, you know, Chuck, basically when we met with him, he's like, I'm not trying to create a cookie cutter group here. You know, you uh, guys don't have uh, to, you guys do not have to change who you are because I'm a tomboy. I've been a tomboy my whole life, you know, and, and I'm just, I've met so many producers who say, oh, well, you can never make it, you know, unless you put on a two-piece thong and straddle a chair. You know, and I'm just <laughs> like, that ain't happening. No, I, mean, I, I got to do that and I want it. So... <laughs> All I mean, that. I think that's the one thing I like because we're all different and we all represent different, every yeah. type of female. And you really do. You you really do, y'all. Yeah. Y'all really got to check them out because they're beautiful black sisters. Let me first say that, beautiful. But they all have their own style, and I think that's that's a wonderful thing. Um, how... Well, what's the next? What's the next album? What 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 was your next album called? Because I see um, B Girl, right? Uh -huh, that's the last girl That's our sophomore album. Is all bets off. All bets, all bets off. off. All bets off. The first single, the single is called All Bets Off, and it's featuring MC Light, baby. What? Are you, you got a legend on there? Oh my God! We we talking real hip hop? Yeah. Oh, that's what's <laughs> up. And that song, I feel like any female that's in the game, you are gonna respect that song because it's like a, it's definitely a good introductory song for you know yeah. the women coming into the order. business. Yeah. Cause it's just basically it's it's telling you that all bets are off. Anything you used to bet on, you may mm -hmm. want to wait a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All bets are off. You know we got to change the game, but we got to get respect back again for women. You know what I'm saying? Real women who spit real lyrics. Not right, some they man right so. form, not, you know what I'm saying, they got on stilettos and a G-string. I mean, I got to stop saying that, but, you know, we real But it's for real. real. It's it's for real. <laughs> it you is. can't I'm stop sorry. saying real stuff. You, yeah, you yeah, can't I'm stop sorry. 
Never stop saying know. real stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, we... <laughs> but we definitely... And one thing we hope, like I said, again, I hope to see many, many more females come out to woodwork, man, and, and get that national exposure. Or because just, we need that. Can't stop, won't stop, rockin' to the rhythm, cause I gotta get mine. I gotta get mine.